Hey tubers, rocket stove builders, experimenters. Just wanted to show off my vertical feed that I finally achieved. The last video I didn't show the dimensions on this feed tube and how I solved my problem of getting smoke back. So all I did was reduce the size of this feed tube here by dropping a brick in here, but the last video you couldn't really see the brick in there. So. So I dropped that brick in there and that's what reduced the size of my feed tube which was about five by f about five inches diameter maybe. Maybe four inch diameter. But by dropping that brick in there Reduce the space, and now uh, it's working really well. But the stack isn't even sealed off, it's just these bricks are just stacked here. Doesn't seem to matter. So now that I did that, I have uh, two or three times more efficiency with just burning the tips of the wood as opposed to burning the whole stick in there. It's so nice not having to keep on manually feeding it. Oh, I'm so glad I finally achieved self-feeding and more efficiency. It's been a year long journey.
So for a whole year I could have been burning vertical when I was burning horizontal. Oh, I love that. And I was going through a lot of wood. I hope that helps somebody else out. So they won't have to go a whole year burning horizontal and getting smoke back. No more smoke back. No more smoky smell. <clears throat> Can't even tell you're burning wood in here. Nothing more annoying than a basement full of smoke. So don't give up. You'll get it. It's real simple. Sometimes it's simple as dropping a brick in there. of mass destruction. I got the flea. Oh, I got all this at the flea market. It's my eight palm mall. Drop forge made in Japan. Antique. These are all old axes, and they all hold a really sharp edge, unlike the Chinese junk. Don't buy no Chinese junk axes for $19.99. Get a flea market. I got this one for $5. I actually got it for free. I just bartered with a bunch of junk I was going to throw out. I made this handle out of a piece of a pallet slat. banged up from use but uh it's really comfortable that had a big uh big long axe handle on it <clears throat> that broke and I like this short handle because that's a good uh it's got a good weight to it Compared to the smaller ones. So that big one just powers through stuff. Like that, like nothing. Or anything. With little effort. And all the inertia of that big heavy exit. And what won't, that won't split. This mall will rip through anything.
Alright, tubers. 